my friends, welcome back to another painting. Today I'm working on an 8 by 8 inch canvas and we're doing something a little bit different today. I had the idea to use several techniques that I've seen other pore painting artists use. The first is to use an embroidery hoop so that I can get a black circle in the middle and do the rest of my base in a titanium white. And Olga Sobe uses this for her Dancing Universe series and also her Breaking Through the Limits series, but I'm using it for a kind of a different purpose this time. And of course, I'm going to be doing a chain pull kind of bird that is inspired by Designer Gemma 77. However, it kind of goes in a different direction that I'm not mad at at all. So I used the outer attachment for the embroidery hoop just to lay a ring of gold around that black circle and now I'm laying down my colors and I mostly just wanted this to be a black and white painting. Now I am laying down dots in wing shapes and then I will begin my chain pull. Everything does look a little bit messy when it is wet but I am going to fix it up when it is dry. I totally wasn't sure if this was going to work out. I had an idea in my head and when that happens, I have to try it out. And a lot of times I try something and it kind of fails, but really it's not a failure because it's a learning opportunity, even though sometimes it doesn't feel like that in the moment. This time, however, it didn't go as I expected it to go, but it almost went better than I expected. Which is very rare, but I'm happy that it happened. Now I am going to begin the tail part of this quote unquote bird because it doesn't end up being a bird. This part was going to be its body, so the viewpoint that we're kind of seeing is this would be its belly and then I'm going up to kind of shape the head and the beak facing up and to the right. I could have stopped here and maybe I should have, but I wasn't really happy with the brightness and also the size of the head. So I keep kind of going over it, trying to fix it up, but then I start to see something else. I thought that the bottom tail feathers and the body kind of looked like a human figure in a cloak. And then I started to see kind of a, like a human in a cloak with wings, kind of with their, their back facing towards us and walking into this dark, mysterious portal. And that's kind of where I decided to take it. Now that it's dry, I am using that same embroidery hoop so that I can fix that outer golden ring. I did a few of the touch-ups off camera, but mostly I was focused on this golden ring. I really wanted it to look nice and neat and clean. And here is the finished result. And I'm so beyond happy with this one. I would really love to hear what you all think if you would have preferred it had been a bird rather than a dark cloaked mysterious angel figure <laughs> walking into a portal. But let me know. I do hope you enjoyed this one. Thank you all so much for watching. I'll see you next time.